what I remember of my tours with my father was what was driving the tour was not just connecting with people. It was actually trying to understand their requirement, their need, and it was about listening to what they were trying to tell you. And I remember a lot of it was just going there and listening. Look, you see this picture here? He's listening. This picture here? He's listening. Right? So it was constantly listening and, asking, and he would make these connections, right? So he would, he would be in this crowd, he'd listen and then suddenly he would say, okay, this can be transformed with this instrument, right? So it was a, it was a journey where he would go listen and then go and look around to find instruments that can transform this, this voice of this, of this nation that he was hearing. When you see this, you go and you're like, okay, there is this tremendous voice here, but it's struggling to speak. Of course, that's been magnified today. With it's not being allowed to speak, and it's being crushed with monopoly capital. It's being crushed with you know media. It's being crushed with the authoritarian system. This voice is call it God. There's nothing more than this voice. It's not a singular voice. It's millions and millions of voices that speak together, have huge power when they speak, and tremendous amount of nuance. So the tragedy of politics of today is that, that in a world of media, in a world of WhatsApp, in a world of Twitter and Facebook, that voice is basically suppressed.